Hello and welcome back to problem 12, finding a highly divisible triangular number. So the definition of a triangular number is uh, the, the sum of the first n natural numbers. For example, the seventh triangular number is the sum of the first seven natural numbers, which is 28. And the list of, uh, of uh, triangular numbers is something like this. And we need to find what is the value the f of the first triangular number that has over 500 divisors and there is a function called the sigma function or the divisor function and it's defined something like this and this function counts the number of divisors a number has and uh, uh, x here is the exponent at which it's, uh, each divisor is raised to so for example when sigma uh, when uh, the when this number x is 0 so sigma sub 0 of n basically arises each divisor to the power of 0 which is uh, any number to the power of 0 it's 1 right so this basically um, does that counts the number of divisors uh, of n and we are going to use this formula in our program to implement the the counting of, of uh, divisors and this uses the prime factors right so we need a prime factorization uh, first we need to know how to factorize a number um, to get the prime factors okay so uh, let me show you some examples so for example if we have let's say n 5 uh, 540 this is a very divisible number so we can say uh, n divisors which uh, divides the number and uh, and prints the the list of divisors and we can count this list it has 60 divisors right so these are all the 60 divisors of uh, 540 so using using the method from wikipedia we can say uh, factor this number into prime numbers and this creates a list which shows us that uh, this number has uh, four uh, numbers, four prime numbers of two, two prime numbers of three, one of five, and one of seven. Right. So multiplying. So basically, if we say two to the four times three to the second times five times seven, we get uh, we get five five hundred and forty. Right. So this is the prime factorization and. Uh, from this prime factorization, we we can find the number of divisors by using uh, by multiplying the exponents plus one. So, for example, here we can say four plus one times two plus one times five plus times one plus one times uh, one plus one. Right. So this shall print sixty. Yeah. So this is the number of divisors and uh, uh, to use it to use it more generally so you can say n uh, so factor the number into primes we can say here this is the prime and p p1 it's uh, the exponent the power of each prime factor and we add one then we multiply this together using the prod method yeah so we get back uh, six, 60 again so we are going to use this uh, this method in our program and um, uh, second, uh, second thing, so for example, to compute the end triangular number, so for example, let's say uh, m is uh, m is seven, so we need to find the seventh triangular number. You can simply say one to the m and sum this, and print twenty eight, right? So this is the end triangular number. But uh, there is also uh, a formula for this, which is m times m plus 1 divided by 2 uh, which also prints uh, 28 here right so we're going to use this uh, probably as a cleaner method it's uh, using the polygonal method built in built in into the language which is polygonal m of 3 where 3 stays stands for a triangular number right so this is actually a generic method which works for any polygonal number and computes it very fast and uh, yeah so it prints 28 back okay so this is this is all we need to know to solve this problem so let's start uh, doing that so let's delete all of this and start all over again and uh, 
here we go we say so we have a uh, an infinite range and we need to find so first by and let's call this n we need to find the first number which uh, passes this the check that we want so the check that we want is basically compute the the end triangular number for, for this n and uh, so after we have this uh, after we have this uh, number uh, the n triangular number we need to factorize this number into prime factors map each uh, map each uh, prime factor get the power of each prime factor and add one then the product of, take the product of this so this computes the the number of divisors of the end triangular number and this needs to be greater than 500 as the problem says so here we can print the the i and we need to find basically uh, so the problem requires that we we find the uh, the triangular number okay so let's execute this yeah so this is the result and the result is correct right so this is the the second one is the result so first the, the first uh, number is the index of the triangular number so this is the triangular number and this is the index of this triangular number okay so that's it for this one very easy problem very nice uh, a little bit more advanced uh, i can say but nothing too fancy here and uh, see you in the next one thanks for watching have a nice day